Hey, Joe Cummings, Missoula River Lodge. Just wrapped up the spring season. It's over. So we pulled the plug on it Monday. Um, we moved all our guests over to the Missouri. Water's gone, a big snowpack year, and it finally got warm enough outside and snow started to move and we've got big rivers with cold, dark, muddy water. Not on the Missouri, it's clean over there. Uh, I talked to the crew this morning. They had a really good day over there yesterday. Um, I actually went yesterday around here for just the very last moments of fishable water. Caught some nice brown trout uh, with Patch and his brother. So it's the Missouri for now. For the foreseeable future, there's not going to be much here. Uh, there'll be some lake fishing that'll come in as the ice comes off, but rivers are going to get big. We're well over 150% on snowpack. So we'd expect on a year like this, if we had a normal May, that it would come in Sometimes the last few days of May, maybe, that's probably overly optimistic. But certainly by the first week of June, we should be ready to go on Rock Creek. Overall, the spring season was a B, B, was a B. I thought the squall season was a B. Uh, not because of how the bitterroot fished. That fished exceptionally well. We had about a 10-day run in there where everything was right. A lot of big browns got caught on dry flies, a lot of fish blowing up dry flies, visible targets, reliable fishing. Um, maybe it was a B plus spring. What I, what I didn't, uh, what was disappointing about the spring was that we just, we just never really got right on the Clark Fork. We'd have moments on the Clark Fork where things were really good, and then we'd have moments where that Blackfoot, which was blown all spring, would just chunk mud down the Clark Fork and blow it out and not be good fishing. So we were really focused. Everybody was kind of pushed up on the Bitterroot, which is a great river and um, provides a lot of great fishing, but I like it better when there's other options, when you can run up the Blackfoot or you can run down the Clark Fork and leave the Bitterroot alone for a little while. Um, and the best squallow fishing of the whole year is uh, in this weather, in this hot weather, right at the end of April, by far, by far and away, it's nothing really even close to what the Bitterroot does. But it's blown this year. So there's going to be thousands and thousands of squallows that will be coming off down there that aren't going to get eaten. Uh, so that's why I would say, you know, spring was great. We had a lot of great trips. We had some okay trips. Um, there were definitely days where I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to be on the Bitterroot and I wanted to be on the Clark Fork, but we went up and just for something different and new and it does a different kind of fishing. So it was a good spring. I would say it was a good spring. It wasn't an, it wasn't an epic spring because it was, we didn't have all these other options that are so cool to go fish, and so different and so much fun. So I was happy with, I, I was happy with it. And I think we had uh, plenty of happy guests. Certainly those, all the guys that caught the big browns were very happy. Um, and now we're on to high water. We've got a bunch of snow. We're gonna see elevated flows on the Missouri, which it fishes well then. We're gonna see an extended runoff season. So I don't think we're going to even have a chance at anything in May, at least for now, we'll see. Um, and then start sneaking again, maybe late May, early June. Hopefully it doesn't rain like it did in 2011, uh, but it should be a good water year. Hopefully no hoot owls, no fires, just a normal summer in Montana uh, with plenty of flows in late July and August, all the way to September. So I'll be on the Missouri, um, be sending a report from there, and then I get to go turkey hunting with my Nine-year-old son, he's going to be tagging along and we're going to go out to Billings and do some turkey hunting. So you might see a report from there too. Uh, thank you to all the anglers that have fished with us this spring. Hope to see you again next year. And um, if you're coming in the next few weeks, get ready for the Missouri. Have a good day. Joe Cummings, Missoula River Lodge.